since we're supposed to fly out today, I don't really have any food at home, so I'm going up to Gateway to get some pad thai. Oh, so excited. And happy Monday. It's almost noon. I've had kind of a sad morning. It's a long, it's a long story. I kind of talked about it a bit in my um, Monday email. If you guys aren't signed up for that, I'll link instructions down below for those of you that want to sign up for it. I don't know, just sad things are happening and I'm just feeling very connected and emotional to all of it and that's fine and it's good to feel emotions. Emotions are normal, they're healthy and I'm just trying, just kind of letting myself feel them. I sent out the first lesson for my Dish to Pill course, which if you want to learn more about that, I'll also link that down below. And one happy thing that happened is I just ordered Ellen Fisher's um, ebook, Epic Vegan Food, which I've been meaning to buy for a long time and it is filled with pure gold. I slept in this morning. It was a long weekend, you guys. Friday, we got up at 4.50 in the morning to get on a 6.25 a.m. flight. That was then delayed, so we would've missed our connection in St. Louis, and so we had to reschedule for that night, and by the time we got into Long Island, well, got into LaGuardia, got our car, got into Long Island, got to your hotel, and got to bed. It was like one o'clock in the morning. Saturday, it was rainy there. I got some stuff done, tried to go shopping for, I just want pants, but I can't find pants that fit me. And Saturday, it was really nice out this morning, and I was like, I'm gonna go sit in the park and read my book and work and have a fantastic time. That's not gonna happen. But that's okay, because I'm eating baguette and hummus. But yeah, and hummus, it's garlic hummus, it's good. I'm sitting in the car waiting for Michael to get done. I'm happy. So I'm gonna sit here and read my book in the rain in the car. And then Sunday was the race, and so we woke up at 5 a.m. for that. Turned out to be a beautiful fall day, and I'm very thankful for that. Our flight left five something that night, and we got in at like 11 back to Des Moines, and so it's we slept in this morning until like nine and then we woke up to the news of the attack in las vegas and i i had i had like a news notifi notification of it and then also like a text message between two of my friends and it's just just makes my heart sad and i've got my shopping list ready i'm going to get myself ready and we're gonna go grocery shopping first thing get it out of the way Okay, back from grocery shopping. I'm gonna pull out everything from the bags and then I'm gonna show you what I got and then I'm gonna make some food. I think chickpea sandwiches real quick and then I can go on my run. It's kinda gotten a bit sunny out, so. Bananas, clementines, three onions, an eggplant, two zucchini, kale that was like falling apart, green onions, romaine, carrots, potatoes, a cucumber, some tomatoes because I already have some but I didn't know if I'd have enough, two heads of cauliflower, pad thai noodles, red lentils, cashews, sauerkraut, two cans of chickpeas. I'm gonna try tahini, a coconut milk for recipe, hummus, tempeh, tofu, a baguette, some everything bagels, and a loaf of bread. I really need to exfoliate my face. It just like feels crusty. And so, actually first I have some coffee grounds, so I'm gonna do a scrub of coffee grounds and then a scrub of baking soda maybe, depending on how my face feels after the coffee. This is the very attractive step one. It's what it looks like when you rip coffee all over your face. And then I decided to go ahead and do a layer of oat fix. So this is one of my favorite masks from Lush. It is an oat fix. It's just like super hydrating and it has like oatmeal in it. So it's like a little bit of an exfoliant. So I'm gonna let that sit on there for a few minutes and then scrub it off. Ooh, this is me going out to run. Got my sunglasses, I'm downloading 
listen to the headspace thing on running at the beginning and then i'm gonna listen to a podcast i'm gonna bring my headphones this time michael's gonna come join me hopefully and then i can hand him the stuff i don't want to carry anymore so 18 miles here i go i'm about six or seven miles into i mean i have six or seven miles left it's going pretty well i was like oh man i haven't done any updates so i'm walking for a sec so i give it an update but it's actually bad because then it hurts my knees to start running again um, Michael came and ran four miles with me in Grace Lake. Now I am in Waterworks. It's beautiful. And the sun is over there behind some trees. And so it's just a nice cool breeze. Um, but yeah, six or seven miles left. I'm hurting. I'm moving slow, but I'm, I feel good, I guess. So I'm going to keep moving. Thank you. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Last night I finished 18 miles. It went well. It went better than 16 miles. It always like when you leave during like the heat of the day and then get home after dark is always a little bit crazy. But then we had um, coconut curried vegetables that Michael made because I was going to make them. And he's like, show me where the rest, tell me where the recipe is so I can get them started because you're going to be home late. I have a dentist appointment at 930. And right now I'm having an everything bagel with hummus, red cabbage, sriracha, and sunflower seeds. And I'm feeling quite knackered. It's about 830 and I'm just, I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna try to get ready for the day because I'm still in my jammies. Okay, I'm halfway ready. My hair's gotten really long, you guys. Look at this. I don't know if I should cut it or what. I have on this side, that is from my hydration belt because I run without a shirt on so it just got really irritated and I could feel it happening. But yeah, it was like swollen and red last night so I had a feeling it was going to turn into something. So I'm going to put some gunk onto that and get dressed. It's time to go get my teeth cleaned. So I like the dentist's office but I don't like it. It's a long story if you've ever seen any of my videos on my other channel about like my dental health and birth control. That's why. It's because I had fine teeth. Up until the point I wanted on it, and then within a year I had eight cavities. So, and I'm still dealing with that today. We're going to the dentist's office and I'm riding the moped because my has a car. So we'll see how this goes. I'm back home. My pearly whites are in order. In order. The my dentist said my teeth looked great, but I don't know if she was lying or not. I never know. I don't think she would lie. She's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm back at home for a little bit. I'm trying to get work, some work done. My has a car. But when he gets back with the car, I'm gonna go see Veronica and Maverick. So until then. I'll be here. It is Wednesday. It's actually Michael's birthday today. He went to a coffee shop and then he went to, I think, his office for a bit. And I commented, I think that's cool that it's your birthday and you want to do what you normally do day to day. I think I need a haircut. It's too long and it's like too heavy. It's also too clean right now. So tomorrow we're going to Minneapolis to see Romeo and Juliet for Michael's birthday. Coming home Friday morning. Friday we're all day we're setting up for the race this weekend and then Saturday, Sunday are the two races so I don't have much time. And then next week, oh my gosh I have so much I need to do. I don't know what day we're leaving. I think we're leaving either Wednesday or Thursday, maybe Thursday. We're leaving to go to Pittsburgh and we're in France so shoot, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Not enough time, not enough motivation. Right now I'm working on my random facts about me. Yes, I'm doing another video of random facts because you guys keep asking for that. So I'm sitting here, I have two right now. I'm trying to think of more. This is a fun little process. I'm just trying to think of them. 